Hello and welcome to Sunless Sea, the uh, now oh, about 18 month year old game from Fail Better Games. Uh, I'm going to be starting a, a sort of a, a semi regular let's play, just uh, something to do in my downtime when I'm not uh, carrying Phil and Scotty in Heroes of the Storm. Sunless Sea is set in a sort of Tim Burton esque Victorian Gothic horror world where Queen Victoria basically makes a a deal with the devil to save her husband uh, and the trade for that is uh, her um, her entire city London is uh, taken into this underground not quite hell but basically hell like a big underground cavern um, it's full of islands and loads of different races and demons and loads of cool stuff so without further ado we are gonna get started let's have a look at the uh, at the new game here um, I haven't played in a little while, yeah, probably about six months, eight months, something like that. So there have been loads of updates, loads of different stuff. Um, the thing is with uh, Sunless Sea, when you die, the map sort of resets uh, and you have to start over from scratch, um, which is pretty good fun. Um, but we're going to be trying really hard not to die. Um, so a lot of it's text-based, as you can see, um, as you sail your ship around... Uh, you'll encounter various sort of texts. Um, uh, three decades ago in the reign of Queen Victoria, uh, London was stolen by bats. It now lies miles below the surface, which is kind of awkward. Um, um, it was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Unterthee. Uh, choose a past. So we can choose our character here. Um, this is where you hang your hat in London. I live in, in the Blind Helmsman, which I'm assuming is some kind of bar. Now you get some different, uh, different um, sort of pasts you can uh, you can pick. Um, these are uh, sort of give you small bonuses in the game. Um, so your street urchin, um, street urchin casts you out when you grew too tall. Took to the sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. Last big score was enough to buy a ship. Um, a poet, educated and articulate. That doesn't really sound like me. A veteran of the campaign of 68. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's army's lost. You survived. Your loot and pension have brought you a command. Uh, an ordained priest. No. A natural philosopher. Uh, time, blood, starlight brought you down to the neath. Um, cavern where London lies. Now, you can, uh, now they take you out to the sea. Um, I think I am going to go for a street urchin here, um, just because it's a pretty cool background. I don't see myself as much of a poet, um, and I think subtlety is going to ser serve us a lot better than uh, a sort of battle abilities. Um, and then we get some different uh, different abilities now. Uh, Longshanks Gunner, this is a crew member who looks after our guns. Uh, veils, these are your stats up here. You have hearts, which is your health, veils, which is your stealth, pages, which is sort of your, your intelligence, I suppose, mirrors, which is, yeah, perception, detection, you can uh, see further in the dark, uh, and iron, which is your, your sort of attack damage. And now we can choose an ambition. Now, this is kind of your overall quest for the game. Um, this is how... Uh, your end game, as it were, your end goal. Um, you don't have to sort of follow this, but you tend to to um, to have to work your way through it, um, and then it, it kind of changes some of the quests that you get given. Um, now, what does winning mean to you? We can pick your father's bones. Your father was lost at sea. Uh, you never knew him, but uh, you've often dreamed about him. Uh, find and return his remains to London for a decent burial. Uh, Fulfillment, gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the sea, uh, write a masterpiece, retire. Wealth, um, you know this, uh, how it is to be poor, now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family perhaps. And then finally a private kingdom. Now I think, if I just hover here, um, a private kingdom, I, I'm not sure how you unlock this, I think you perhaps have to... Uh, to sort of do some quest text and then you get you can unlock this ambition later in the game um i'm going to go for your father's bones i think that's going to be pretty exciting um 
So we want to try and find our, our missing father. Might explain why we were a street urchin. Um, your father was lost at sea. Da, 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 da. So we can just pick um, what we want to be called when we're on shore. Are we madam, sir, citizen, my lord, um, my lady, or captain? I think captain's pretty cool. Um, and now we pick our, our portrait. Um, now these are just sort of, so they don't have really any in-game effect. Um, oh, he looks pretty cool with a jaunty top hat. I think we'll go for that. And we're going to go for Night Spear because that's who we are. Your father lost at sea very long ago. The trail was cold, but now you have a lead. Meet with Slivy, the urchin who speaks to the wind. The urchins of, uh, of London Lair in the Flit, uh, a creaking roof maze high above the streets. Uh, bad al altitude, as everyone knows. Um, Slivy hears things. Slivy knows things. A week ago, he mentioned your father was as strong a swimmer as you. That's interesting. Um, Slivy, Slivy's face is disfigured by a wine-stained birthmark, and he struggles with a stutter. Uh, marks of the lightning's kiss one night when he got too bold in a storm, they say. Yeah, yes, I've been waiting f for you. Uh, I just want me a little muter salt, something to calm me tongue. Bring it, and I'll tell you uh, who has your father. And then we've got our first sort of quest. Um, go north along the coast to Wither uh, and bring back muter salt for Slivy. I'm guessing that's some kind of drug. Um... Now, we're going to need a little bit of money for this. We are fairly skint at the minute, um, so we might have to pick up some quests um, before then, uh, just to earn a little bit of money. Now, there's a few sort of general quests that you can get um, to earn a little bit of cash as you go. The Admiralty, Admiralty Survey Office, uh, when you discover a new island, they'll buy, buy the maps from you. Um, Ask if there's anything they need particularly. Now they've particularly asked for Gators Morn in the Corsairs Forest, somewhere not far from home waters. Um, do we have an appointment? Not as such. So we've got to survey three ports in return before we can go and meet the Admiral. Um, now let's have a look in our hold. Uh, now, as you play through, you you have uh, you need fuel and food, obviously, to keep your crew going and keep your uh, keep your ship going. Echoes are your money. Um, so I am in uh, unforgiving mode. So if I die, I die. That's it. That's what this sort of uh, what this represents. And advice for captains. Um, this is a little sort of uh, help guide, but you can sell it. Um, I'm going to disable the tutorial, I think. Actually, no, we'll leave it on because uh, people who maybe haven't seen this game might want to see what the, the controls are. Um, so we launch by pressing E. And you move with WASD here. Uh, you control your speed with your W and uh, your S. And you go left and right with your uh, A and D. Um, now, obviously, you use more fuel when you go quickly, which isn't ideal. And you can see here we're just sailing out of London. Um, we don't really have anything we need to aim for, really, in the early game. Um, my advice to be would be sort of explore near London, pick up some of the Admiralty reports. Um, we can see here this is a light ship. You can dock here. Um, you see the sort of glowing area. Uh, e to dock, um, the light ship, it's clear, uh, bright warms the way. Speak to the crew, I uh, don't have any recent news, um, I think I could have picked that up from my, my house back home so I could have uh, picked that up in London, but I'll remember when I go back, uh, or I can buy some fuel. I don't think I need any fuel at the minute, um, and also it's more expensive to buy it out in the sea, so... Oh, I've just bought it anyway. Oops. Um, oh, well. A little bit of extra fuel is not going to hurt. Um, now, if we launch... 
let's just have an explorer around London. Um, you can send out your sea bat. Oh, goodness, we've got a battle here. No, we don't. Um, you can send out your sea bat, and this sort of scouts the nearby area for you. Um, here we are. Mutton Island is some distance to the south. Um, so let's head there. We'll go all ahead full, get there a little bit quicker. Now you can see here the obstacles, obviously if we, if we bump into these we'll get damaged. Um, and this cone in front of us here illuminates the way. Oh, a crab. Let's see how we, we fare against this. Uh, the red arc shows the range of your deck gun. Keep out the enemies in range. So, uh, da, 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 da. so we need to keep the enemy in our prow light to light them up. Um, oh goodness, that went well. And you need to wait for it to, to fill up here. Oops, let's swing back around, maybe reverse. And let's shoot him. There we go. And you can see here as he bumps into us, our hull goes down a little bit. Now you can repair this, but it obviously costs resources. And then when you kill him, you can, you can loot the corpse. Um, let's butcher it for supplies. Um, these things aren't that... Uh, that difficult to to find as we travel um so if we want to go back and, and dissect it for knowledge later we can i do love the music in this game um sort of sea shanty style music you can see he's revving up now if i was a little bit better at this game i could probably dodge those attacks but i haven't played in a little while so I think I'm just going to tank it. Now, we can dissect this for knowledge. It is a challenge based on our pages, which is our intelligence sort of score um, for those sort of traditional RPG games. Um, I get a fragment. Um, these You can trade these fragments for knowledge. Uh, and we've succeeded in a pages challenge. Um... Uh, here's Mutton Island that we saw our sea bat uh, found for us. So we'll go and dock here. Now you can see just here we have our terror score. Now as long as we're in the light, this this won't go up. Um, now we want to try and stay in the light as much as possible. Um, And um, we're going to slow down. And let's dock at the uh, the Mutton Island. Now the town is called Quaker's Haven. Uh, once the simple fishing, fishing village was part of London suburbs before London fell and the water rushed in. Smoke spirals from uh, cottage chimneys and a lonely hill rises behind the town. Um, now we can go for drinks at the only pub. We can pick up a wretched mog. Um, and that can be our mascot we can see here this gives us an extra bit of health uh, our comatose ferret or we can chat to the fisherman or visit the hilltop above town um, let's go to the hilltop above town you stand on the hilltop uh, looking over the island's village smoke from the chimneys of the uh, cock and magpie drift upwards uh, there's not a breeze to ruffle your hair nor lift your collar. Below, a young woman carries uh, what could be real flowers, handing them out with a curtsy to everyone she meets. Um, so now, I've failed this, but I've still lost one terror, which is quite nice. Um, we can You can attempt these as many times as you like, usually. Um, sometimes you have to wait a little while before you come back. Um, Let's chat to the fishermen. Uh, and we get the port report here. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at the work, uh, canate ships putting in to resupply. The canate are like the, one of the enemy factions that you'll, uh, you'll, you'll encounter. Uh, nothing dramatic, but uh, enough to interest the Admiralty. Uh, and that's cost us a coin. Uh, 
Quaker's Haven. And I don't think I'm going to pick up the Wretched Mog. Because uh, it's going to eat all our food. Um, which I don't really want to do. Now, let's send out the sea bat and see what we can find. See what he comes back with. The Kumain Canal is a long way to the southwest. Now, the Kumain Canal, if I remember correctly, is sort of the uh, the only way back to the surface world. It's uh, sort of a series of locks that raise the boats up. Now, you can go through it, um, but it's more of sort of a late game event. Uh, you can uh, you can get boxes to capture sunlight and then sell those for money later on. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that this early on, but we can go visit it and collect the port, uh, the port report. Um, let's just pop ourselves in reverse to fight this uh, Megalops. Oh, there we go. We just managed to sort of duke his charge. And let's... Let's just butcher it for supplies. And sail on. Oh, here we are, the Kumean Canal. I will just sail round. And I think the port for this is fairly... You don't actually have to go up the canal to get the port for it. You just have to land in front of it. Um... And as we sail along, we can see the port just here to the uh, to the right, or to the left of the screen, but to the right of my boat. I should probably learn some nautical terms for this. Um, port and starboard and fore and aft and all that. Um, the Kumean Canal staging area ascends uh, through locks and gates uh, and shadow turns to the sunlight of the surface. Um, now, I can't travel to the surface. Uh, I don't have enough fuel. Um, and um, we can listen for surface gossip. This might be useful. I have a vision of the surface. Um, so the ships of the surface linger here. Uh, this is their lifeline to a warmer place. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like the competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in the long moored ships. Here you trade stories with suntan surface sailors, stories of Paris and Batavia, uh, the Lost Fires and the Final Isles. Um, that's all for now. And we might as well pick up our port report whilst we're here. Continue. Um... Now, we are running a little bit low on fuel. We've used about half of it already. Now, I think heading back to London might not be the worst plan in the world. Um, sail to the north um, and maybe end the video there. Um, it's um, You had to be really careful if you run out of fuel. Uh, you have to be a huge fortune to get towed back into London. Um, if you're close enough to get towed back, if not, you, you're dead, basically. A big sea monster will come and eat you, which is never ideal. Now, if I just bring up our map, you can see how far we've sort of sailed so far. So we've barely looked at sort of 10% of the map. Um, it does change each time, but the areas around London and the uh, sort of the east coast tend to stay fairly similar, um, just so you, you can sort of plot out your star type plans. Um, uh, it is very difficult to make money quickly in this game. Um, it can be a bit grindy at times, definitely. But even as you're grinding, you you can sort of explore different areas and find different places. Um, oh, another Megalops. Now, this might be a bit risky because we have... Um, this, we're quite near this, this, the coast here, and if we bump into it, we'll be in trouble. Um, keep reversing. There we go. Sail in. 
And um, we'll just put Shroom for supplies. For now. Now, if I remember correctly, there is an island very close to the north of London. Um, that we'll maybe check out in the next video. That will just all clear. Um, we'll have a look, see what we can find. Um, um, I think it's like the Sisters Island or something. It's uh, I won't spoil it too much. Um, but it's a nice one to get started. Now, is this an enemy ship? It is, but I do not want to fight that. It's definitely uh, a lot stronger than me. Um, that's definitely not something I want to be getting involved in. I think that might just be sort of a guard ship for London. So we have safely, more or less, returned to London. Um, I think we will end the episode there. Um, we'll get started on the next one, uh, have a look around, see what we can find. Uh, maybe try and head to Wither uh, and get the Mütter Salt in the next episode and start trying to find who our father is or where he is. Um, thanks for watching. Do all the good stuff, like, share, subscribe. Um, you know, it, it helps the channel out so much. Uh, if you liked it, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and let, let us know what we've done wrong. Uh, what I've, where I've uh, probably horrifically ruined the start of my game already. Um, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye!